in my previous video i showed you how you can set up your feed as server through magix application but in that every time you need to like download the latest version and if you want to down, downgrade also then you need, again you have downloaded it manually and set up every time so i came up with a tool which is created by me only i've created this tool which will automatically download the version which you want and you can download the latest version easily and also you can down, downgrade it also just you have to give the version name which you want to install and it would also run automatically on both of, of your android device so let's set up this so first of all we have downloaded terminx application for old android version it's still available on the play store but for the new ones it won't be there so you have to download it through aptroid here you can find the links download it through aptroid so i have downloaded it as you can see our next application on the last row just click on it so first of all you need to run few commands so first one is this termax setup storage to keep the storage access i will do this quickly just give me a time then you can type pkg install oh, first one pkg upgrade then to install tools you have to run install this repo root repo because by default the termx application don't have root repo so you can use this repo so if this doesn't work then you can use this command termx change repo then you can select this root repo manually from the list now you have to run this command apt-get update then you have to install these tools you can simply copy it from here paste it on the Termix now install all these tools this is only one time now you can download this tool just copy this command and paste it on the it will automatically clone now just do ls and you can see the file auto feed up just simply execute this now you can see the tool is running now the best thing about this tool is also it will automatically find your architecture as well some people find it difficulty to find the architecture of their android device so this tool will automatically find the architecture as well so now here it's showing the latest version and then it's asking for you that you want to proceed with the latest version or you have to want to use or some different version. so first now we'll proceed with the latest version then we'll downgrade it so here is showing do you want to download a different feed as server button so we'll say no Let's press n and hit enter key so as you can see start downloading automatically and just click on grant now if you do ls now you can see there is a one new file here that is frida server so to check the version simply execute this minus minus version and see it's showing 16.111 so yeah so we have successfully set up our frida server and is running also so now we check our frida version which is installed in our system So it's showing 16.1.8. So means on on our Windows device it's 8, and uh, on our Android device the latest version. So we need to update our Windows Feeder server. But what I will do instead of updating a Windows server, I will update my mobile device server. Simply for that, execute that same command again. Autofeeder.sh, and here it will show the latest version and the architecture now last time we select n no n so this time we will type yes then y only that's it because we want to install some different version so here you can easily downgrade or upgrade so here just give the version you want to download so i want to go for 16.1 to match with my system so now you can see now we start downloading the, that version which, which we have specified we will automatically select the architecture now so now we do ls go to cd 
this folder name and here I get slash freedom so minus minus version so see showing it now so here if I run Frida will show me the all the running of this so let's try to open this application section g explore so see now it's working absolutely fine so there are a lot of benefit of using this one as it will you can easily switch between the freedom server version and you don't need to download again you have to manually you have to go to the repo and you search for the version then you search for your architecture you download that version again again you have to do that thing but this tool will automatically find out your architectural version and the version you want to download is you need to specify that version it will be downloaded it for you and you're all set it will, for setup it will take here yeah, starting uh, your four or five minutes but later on it will be very easy to use and whenever you want to uh, execute a feeder server just simply launch the terminal application it will automatically launch for you so only one time you have to do like if you are restarting your device then only you have to launch the Thermix app and if you have already launched it then you have no issues invoke it thank you so much